Uh, my name is James Dougal. Uh, I've worked in the Golden Jubilee for two years now. Uh, I'm in the housekeeping department. I have a disability, it's dyspraxia. Um, I received extra training because of how my disability works. It's uh, so fine motor skills and turn from left to right. You need, I need to be told uh, what to do in training maybe more than once to get a grasp of it. Then after maybe two times or so, it's fine after that. Uh, well, I started here as an apprentice originally from the college. Uh, I done my training for a year. It was a year's apprenticeship. Uh, Kenny, who was from the college, came in and done questions, and he was part of the paperwork for the apprenticeship that needed to be completed for the college perspective. Uh, we done that, and after a year, I've now got the job, and I've now fully qualified as a housekeeper. I've now got a permanent post to go in Julie. Parts of it were easy, other parts were hard, like the induction. For the online side, it was I found it harder than just when we were talking about it. But uh, Catherine from the apprenticeship helped me through it and we got past it all. And then the other training, I've been buddied up with a partner, Clive, and he helped me through all the training, just day to day on how to do your job. Favorite. I prefer it on the ward. Even the wards are more busier, but you can get in, and you there are different people every day that you meet, and your day goes quicker. You're just in. Not at this stage. I'm comfortable where I am, uh, but I'll maybe in the future. To I need to try and figure out what I'd like to do long term permanently. Maybe if I want to come become a nurse or go into physio. Um, and really keeping the environments clean tidy, I'm do that at home, help my mother out, help out family. Uh, and then to do it here in the hostel, which helping clean the hospital can aid somebody getting better, getting healthier. Mm -hmm. Which is compared to doing it in a whiskey bond to here, it's also a big difference and you do it more in depth in the hospital. No, actually there's no parts I don't like doing. I think there's a whole thing about the morgue, about how it's haunted, or I'm fine with it. I'm not bothered going into it. Everyone says it's strange or you can hear weird noises. Mind you, I turned around one day not knowing that there was a mark. It was like a rag lying out on the table and thinking it was somebody. So I turned around and jumped, got a fright. But I, no, I don't know what the whole thing is, the whole story, whether something's happened in the past, but I just think it's rumours that float about about how the morgue started even though it's not really. Um, I quite like to try level four. Mm -hmm. it's, you spend the whole day up in it and you clean both sides, it's offices and the eye clinic. I've not done it, I know it's a big task. It, some people can do it in a day but it is spread between two days because it's too much to do. Some people manage to do it, I think it depends on how different people work, if some are faster than others. I'd like to try that. It's, great. it's a great hospital, it's got many awards, it's a special recognised also around the world for heart, lungs and eye care. Um, it was originally an Arab hospital, uh, the NHS bought it over and it's definitely expanded and it's opened up a whole network. We get people down from the Highlands, Shetland, around the world. Uh, it's a great hub. I'm just 20 minute walk up the road. Sometimes the odd Friday I get a taxi down. It just depends if it's raining. But um, no, it's definitely a local hospital.